UFC 24 has been fully revealed today. I'm going to let you know everything they had to tell us. From the incredible addition of women in Ultimate Team, to being able to upgrade your cards, release dates, prices, pre-order bonuses, and everything in between, welcome to the new generation of FC 24. Today was EA's massive reveal in Amsterdam of FC 24, the partnerships that they have, and some information that you guys have been wanting to know about the new game. Many have been confused as to what's changing now that they have split from FIFA. To summarize, it's gonna be exactly the same, it just won't be called FIFA anymore. But there are some big changes, let's go through them one by one. Firstly, release date, officially confirmed for the 29th of September, with the Ultimate Edition releasing on the 22nd. We'll get into bonuses of that in just a little bit. Platforms, PC, Switch, Xbox One, series consoles, PS4 and PS5. In the UK, the game is costing £70 for the Standard Edition and £100, which is an increase of 10 for the Ultimate Edition. So what do you get for your money and what are the pre-order bonuses this year? So here are the bonuses for both the Standard and the Ultimate Edition of the game. Pre-ordering either of these will get you the game itself, both versions of it, PS5, PS4, Harland on a 10 game loan, two FC24 Ambassador loans for five games. You get an extra playstyle slot in pro clubs, extra personality points in player career, and a five-star coach available for hire in manager career. If you get the Ultimate Edition, you also get these extra bonuses. Up to seven days early access. We normally get three, so this is huge. 4,600 FC points, which is the new name for FIFA points. You get access to the Nike Ultimate Team campaign, which I guess is exclusive to early access. You get a Team of the Week 1 untradeable item, a lone player from that Nike promo, and a Nike crossed with EA Ultimate Team kit. If you pre-order before the 22nd of August, you get an untradeable UCL or women's UCL hero item that you'll obtain in November. So big incentives for the Ultimate Edition this year. Speaking of Ultimate Team, women have been added to it for the first time in Ultimate Team history. Thankfully, EA have put together an FAQ as to how women's football in Ultimate Team is going to work because lots of people have had many different questions questions regarding it and so I'll go through the main points right here. So will men's and women's footballs compete on the same pitch? Yes, confirmed they will play together just like they have done in pro clubs now for years. How will they work in Ultimate Team? Basically they're going to be exactly the same as men's gold cards or silver cards or whatever. Player items will be available in packs, objectives available as rewards, They'll be available to buy on the transfer market, using SBCs, they'll be in draft, exactly the same. There will be icons and heroes from women's football history. More information later this summer. We do have some confirmed by leakers already, but EA aren't telling us that just yet. Now, this is the big one. Chemistry. It will remain the same as it would as a brand new league being added into the game. So, we have six leagues, as I said before. Each of these will have their own chemistry, just like the Premier League, La Liga, Saudi League, Liga Nos, get chemistry links between themselves in Ultimate Team. You can see the same now with the Women's Premier League. They will be separate to normal Premier League. They won't get cross links between Trent Alexander-Arnold and Sam Kerr because they're not in the same league. However, a big point that some of you may have been reading behind me is that if you play for the same club, even though you're technically in a different league, you get a club link. So Reese James and Sam Kerr would get club links because they both play for Chelsea just in different leagues. So this should make it so it's even easier to get these women's players into your teams. Some of them are gonna be really, really good. I feel like people are underestimating them. They're gonna be amazing, partially because of the way ratings work. The players in Ultimate Team are rated relative to the players they play against on the pitch in the real world. So, Sam Kerr is not rated relative to Mbappe or Haaland. She's rated relative to all of the other women's footballers in real life. And then, these get combined with the men's cards and boom, you can use them together. The highest rated women's card will probably be the same as the highest rated men's card. Same with the lowest and you'll just have that range of players. Otherwise, it kind of suck, wouldn't it? So 
that is really, really good. And they've also said that they will also be available in SBCs, Objective, Moments, and more. So, huge for the women's game, gonna massively bump the popularity of it, and bump the popularity of the players within Ultimate Team. I'm excited. Next up, this one may be a big one for some of you with friends on different consoles, because Pro Clubs has now changed to just clubs, but this year it is cross platform. They talked about this last year that they were going to experiment throughout the year. Didn't really seem like they did. But now clubs is cross platform, but you do have to be on the same generation of console, just like in Ultimate Team on FIFA 23. Also career mode fans, you didn't really get much info today other than spectator mode is coming to career mode as well. For those that are interested, here are all of the licensed leagues that are in FC24. I know some of you care about this for career mode and stuff like that. So here are all of them, including the women's leagues as well. And apparently there are more to be added and announced. Now here is the other huge news that we got regarding Ultimate Team in FC24. Develop your own club legends with Ultimate Team Evolutions. Look at this card change below me right here. For the first time ever, as you can see, you can improve players in your club via Ultimate Team Evolutions. A new way to build your squad around the players you love. Choose players that fit the Evolutions criteria. Now we don't know exactly what that means just yet, but complete a set of objectives to improve their individual skills, play styles, which we didn't really get much information about, but it seems a bit like chemistry styles and traits are combining to create play styles. They showed an example of Sam Kerr not being able to score, but then they added a finesse play style and she banged it top bins. We'll get more info on that in the coming weeks. You can increase overall ratings to compete them competitive throughout the year as well. You'll even be able to level up how their player items look with new designs and animated backgrounds so you can flex on your opponent with your homegrown evolutions players and all the milestones they've reached for your club. Now, I don't know about you, but this is incredible. I've been talking about this on stream and in videos for years and years and years, how I want to be able to play a thousand games with a player and be rewarded for it. Give me extra skill moves, give me an extra weak foot star, let me boost up their stats and give them traits. Being able to get different card designs by playing more games and doing more objectives with that card is incredible. And it is finally about time that they added animated card designs. We've had animated TIFOs and stuff like that in the game before. It was only a matter of time before this came and this is an amazing way to start it. I imagine we'll probably see some other promos throughout the year. Maybe Team of the Year would be animated in a regal manner or something like that. It'd be amazing. But this sounds like a complete and utter game changer for Ultimate Team. This could be the best addition that they have ever made if they do it right. Now, we do not have all the information at this present time. And let me very, very briefly explain to you how it normally works. So, from this reveal onwards, we got a full trailer as well, which is on EA's platforms that you can watch out for. It doesn't really show you that much more, other than a couple of skill moves, which do look incredible. In a couple of weeks, we'll get our first pitch notes, where they will probably talk about Ultimate Team. They'll do another one where they talk about Career Mode, Pro Clubs, Volta, and a gameplay one. And these will come out every two weeks or three weeks or so up until the release of the game. So if you are a particular fan of career mode, you will have a pitch notes and trailer dedicated to you. And we'll get some kind of release schedule to that soon. Probably from the leakers, to be honest. So evolutions could be incredible. I imagine there'll be some kind of rating cap or upgrade amount cap, because maybe there's a Jamie Vardy card that's a 79 rated that I want to do a road to glory around. I would love to have a double five star Vardy by the end of the year that I could get 2000 games on. But will they limit the amount you can upgrade them? That we have to wait and see. And the whole thing is gonna be running with Hypermotion 5 and an updated and upgraded Frostbite engine. Now that might be scary to some people and I can understand why, but better graphics, better, physical reactions between players, more animations than before. In theory, it should be an upgrade. Whether it will be in reality, we have to wait and see. So I'm super excited for FC24. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good year.